After studying this module, readers will be able to understand number one, DNA marker and their forensic potential. Number two, various type of DNA markers and their forensic application. And number three, DNA markers in CODIS database. DNA is the abbreviation for deoxyribonucleic acid. It is the basic genetic material in all body cells except RBC. DNA structure varies from individual to individual and is always unique. DNA structure is same in case of monozygotic twins as they are found by division of single fertilized egg. DNA is a complex double helix structure in which the side arms are made up of sugars and phosphates and the rungs are made up of two pair of four nitrogenous bases A, T, G and C. Adenosine and thymine form a pair by joining with a double bond in between them and whereas guanine and cytosine are joined with a triple bond in between them. The bases of one pair do not interchange with the bases of other pair. These base pair are further compacted into parts known as alleles and mini satellites having several thousands such base pairs. According to Stanfield 1986, the term marker is used for locus marker. Each gene has particular place along the chromosome called locus. Due to mutation, gene can be modified in several forms which are mutually exclusive called alleles or allelic forms. All allelic forms of a gene occur at same locus on the homologous chromosome. When allelic forms of one locus are identical, the genotype is called homozygote at the same locus, whereas different allelic forms constitute a heterozygote. In diploid organism, the genotype is constituted by two allelic forms of the homologous chromosome Thus, molecular marker are the loci marker related to DNA. Marker can also be biochemical or morphological in nature. During the last few decades, molecular markers, especially DNA based marker have been extensively used in many areas such as gene mapping and tagging, characterization of sex, analysis of genetic diversity, genetic relatedness. In population genetics, protein-based marker were the first marker developed and widely used. DNA-based marker are now the marker of choice to differentiate closely related organisms. Moreover, DNA-based marker allow efficient comparison because genetic differences are detectable at all stages of development of the organism, unlike protein marker, which may show age-dependent changes. Since the discovery of DNA, molecular genetics has brought revolution in research and application of genetics. Various tools are used to identify a specific nucleic sequence. One of the important tools used as DNA marker. DNA marker is also known as genetic marker. It is a gene or a specific DNA sequence whose location on the chromosome is known and produces certain characteristics. DNA marker helps to identify an individual or species. It can be referred to as a variation which arises due to any alteration or mutation at genomic loci. It may be a short sequence like SNP meaning single nucleotide polymorphism and SNPs are basically point mutations which recur in eloquent proportions in a species population 
or may be long sequence like mini satellites or short sequence consisting of 10 to 60 base pair. DNA marker show polymorphism that is different marker are present in different organism in a particular species. DNA marker are mainly used in genetic researches and also in forensic science. As regard, now we come to forensic issues. The correct identification of criminals and other individuals has always been one of the most important issues in criminal and civil investigation. Use of DNA marker for individual identification has brought a great revolution in detection of crime. Since DNA is found in every nucleated cell of the body, it can be extracted from a variety of different material such as blood and blood stains, semen and semen stains, hair and hair roots, saliva, body tissues and organs, bone marrow and bones, post-mortem samples, etc. In 1984, Sir Alex Jeffrey from the University of Leicester paved the path of using DNA marker for human identification by developing a technique called DNA fingerprinting which excelled other method of identification as it permits the identification of individual not only from the comparison of their own body material but also by comparing with DNA marker of their blood relations such as parents, son, daughter, sister, etc. Identification is also possible from variety of clue material like blood, semen, hair root, bone marrow, etc. encountered in different type of crimes. These clues material can be linked to source of their origin. DNA fingerprinting also helps in identification from mutilated dead bodies and skeletal remains. An important advantage of DNA fingerprinting is that the contamination of the evidentiary clues by similar biomaterial may increase the difficulty but do not hamper the identification significantly. It can be used to identify the sex of a person using chromosome specific markers. DNA fingerprinting even helps to identify fake encounters. For example, in a case, 35 Sikhs were killed by foreign terrorists in Kashmir on March 22, 2000. Later on, the security forces killed five persons on March 25, 2000, alleging that they were foreign terrorists. However, the locals alleged that they were natives. The samples from the bodies of the deceased along with the blood sample from their alleged relatives were subjected to DNA profiling which clearly established that they were locals. Now we come to typing of DNA marker. DNA marker can be typed using various technique and the first technique which was developed was called restriction fragment length polymorphism RFLP in short. RFLP is the method in which variation in DNA sequences is used. DNA is cut at specific sites known as restriction sites to produce multiple fragments of different length. This cutting of DNA is done by treating the DNA sample with one or more restriction enzyme uh, which are also called chemical seizures. The fragments are separated using gel electrophoresis. This separation is done on the basis of length of the fragments. RFLP was the first DNA testing technique used in genome mapping, paternity testing and crime cases. Most of the RFLP markers are highly local specific and co-dominant. They are found in nuclear as well as 
mitochondrial DNA. Since nuclear RFLP are inherited according to Mendelian principles, they provide excellent information to determine blood relationship. The another technique is variable number of tandem repeat sequences, in short called VNTR, highly variable short DNA sequences repeated in tandem present in human genome are known as variable number of tandem repeats. They are classified into mini and micro satellites. The classification is based on the size of repeated sequences. Micro satellites consist of about 2 to 9 base pairs whereas mini satellites consist of about 9 to 100 base pairs. VNTRs can be found on multiple chromosomes. They serve as important source of genetic markers used for RFLP. Due to high variability of VNTRs, the band produced by them using gel electrophoresis or southern blotting is unique to every individual. During analysis of VNTR data, two basic principles are used identity matching and inheritance matching. For identity matching, if two samples are found matching, they are from the same individual. In inheritance matching, the allele should follow the rule of inheritance. Next technique is single nucleotide polymorphism, in short SNP analysis. One of the most common genetic variation which is observed among people is single nucleotide polymorphism or SNP. Difference in single nucleotide is represented by single nucleotide polymorphism. For example, if nucleotide cytosine is replaced with nucleotide thymine in particular DNA strand, then it will be a single nucleotide polymorphism. They can act as biological marker and help in locating various genes associated with various genetic diseases. These polymorphism does not affect health. Single nucleotide polymorphisms help in predicting an individual response to various drugs its susceptibility to toxins and even risk to various genetically inherited diseases. SNPs are distributed along the chromosomes on coding regions and also on non-coding regions and intergenic regions. Polymorphism within coding region does not affect amino acid sequence and the protein produced. Coding regions are further divided into synonymous and non-synonymous regions. Synonymous SNPs do not affect protein sequence, whereas non-synonymous SNPs affect amino acid sequence. Non-synonymous SNPs are further categorized into missense and nonsense SNPs. Non-coding regions may affect messenger RNA degradation, gene splicing etc. SNPs are used in forensic science to analyze mitochondrial DNA sequences. Y chromosome DNA marker for examination in case of sexual assault and paternity cases, they can be used to analyze degraded DNA samples. SNPs are preferred as they have lower mutation rate than STR markers. In this diagram, uh, the SNP of three different individuals is shown. In the first sequence, A is there in the center. And in the second person with blue strip, this A is replaced at this place with G. And in the third person, it is replaced with T. This creates single nucleotide polymorphism short tandem repeat 
in short it is called str strs are used to compare dna or particular loci of two or more samples these are micro satellites in which two to seven base pairs are repeated multiple time in row of dna strand they are highly polymorphic this analysis help in measuring the exact number of repeating unit str help in discriminating between two dna profile variability in str length is of great importance in forensics in this diagram here we see 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 in the upper strand of this dna now we come to codis database codis database was generated by federal bureau of investigation in us in this combined dna index codis means combined dna index it is a database created in united states for comparing various dna profile it contains 13 str loci codis have basically two indices to provide lead in crime investigation where biological evidence is found at the scene of crime one is convicted offender index in which dna profile of convicted individual involved in some violent crime such as sexual assault is stored and the other is forensic index in which dna profile found at the scene of crime are stored when the dna profile is entered into database the computer software searches the two indices automatically for matching the profile specimen identifier name of the dna personnel associated with analysis sponsoring laboratory identifier and dna characteristic are stored in codis no criminal history or case related information is stored in it if a dna profile matches with forensic index then it helps in linking the crime scene together and helps in identification of serial criminals a population file which contain anonymous dna profile is also stored in codis it has three level local state and national both type of indices can be present in all three level local dna index system is called ldis is usually operated by police department fbi operates national dna index system in a case in 1995 in florida semen sample found on the rape homicide victim was linked to convicted person's dna profile through codis and proved him guilty now we come to application of dna markers genetic marker are used to study any disease which is inherited and the gene responsible for it it has been observed that the genes or segment of dna which are present close to each other on a particular chromosome sometimes tend to be inherited together this property of inheriting together helps in using marker and determine the inheritance pattern these marker are used in genealogical dna testing to estimate the genetic distance between population or individuals to analyze maternal lineage mitochondrial dna marker are studied whereas for paternal lineage y chromosomal dna marker are studied these marker are known as uniparental marker 
द मेन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ डी एन ए मार्कर इज दैट दे शुड बी इजीली आइडेंटिफाइड एंड शुड बी हाईली पॉलीमॉर्फिक फॉर ए स्पेसिफिक लोकस एज होमोजाइवॉट्स डज नॉट गिव एनी इंफॉर्मेशन आर एन ए सिक्वेंसिंग एंड एलोजाइम आर यूज टू डिटेक्ट मार्कर डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली रिस्पेक्टिवली आर एफ एल पी एंड एम्पलीफाइड फ्रेगमेंट लेंथ पॉलीमोरफिजम आर यूज टू क्रिएट जेनेटिक मैप ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म अपार्ट फ्रॉम फॉरेंसिक साइंसिस डी एन ए मार्कर आर यूज इन डिफरेंट फील्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल दीज आर यूज टू मेजर जिनोमिक रिस्पॉन्स टू सिलेक्शन इन लाइफ स्टॉक मोड ऑफ सिलेक्शन दैट इज नेचुरल और आर्टिफिशियल लीड्स टू चेंज इन जेनेटिक्स ऑफ द सेल A difference in between selected and non-selected livestock can be indicated by presence of different alleles. Distorted segments of the genetic markers leads to presence of different alleles. Now, to summarize this, number one, DNA is an abbreviation for deoxyribonucleic acid. It is the basic genetic material. in all living cells of the body dna marker is also known as genetic marker it is a gene or a specific dna sequence whose location on chromosome is known and produces certain characteristics dna fingerprinting excels other method of identification as it permits the identification of individual not only from comparison of his own body material but the identification of his body material can also be made from body cells of his blood relations such as parents son daughter sister etc and from a variety of clues which are available in different type of crimes like uh, blood semen hair root bone marrow etc an important advantage of dna fingerprinting is that the contamination of evidentiary clues by similar biomaterial may increase the difficulty but do not hinder the identification significantly rflp is a method in which variation in dna sequence is used restriction enzyme break or digest the dna sample and then the produced fragments are separated using gel electrophoresis highly variable short dna sequences repeated in tandem present in human genome are known as variable number of tandem repeats in short vntrs difference in single nucleotide in a particular stretch of dna strand is represented by single nucleotide polymorphism uh, in short called snp snps are divided into coding and non coding genes coding genes are further divided into synonymous and non synonymous snps synonymous and snps do not affect protein sequence whereas non synonymous snps affect amino acid sequence non synonymous snps are further categorized into missense and nonsense snps it has been observed that snps help in predicting an individual response to various drugs its susceptibility to toxins and even risk to various genetically inherited diseases next str is a highly polymorphic micro satellite in which 2 to 9 base pair are repeated multiple time in a row of dna strand combined dna index in short called codis is a database created in united states that serves as an effective tool for comparing various dna profile in criminal investigation codis has three level local state and national local dna index system is usually operated by police department and fbi operates national dna index 
to analyze maternal lineage mitochondrial dna marker are used whereas for paternal lineage y chromosomal str marker are used 